Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel. In this video tutorial I want to show you how to knit one more kitchen towel with this beautiful stitch. And in this video tutorial you will learn an Icelandic bind of method. That is very useful method if you need uh, towels, blankets, um, also cardigans and socks. For this towel I was using 4.5 millimeters knitting needles. You can use straight needles or circular needles, doesn't matter. And the yarn that I, I bought in Dollarama, so it's written that it's 100% cotton yarn. And as you see, it's really thick. Uh, the weight is medium worsted. You can also use Bernard Handicrafter yarn. Uh, I was using it as well, so it it it's really perfect for their kitchen towels. On my YouTube channel, you can find another kitchen towel that was posted before and one more. So if you're ready, let's start knitting. Using 4.5 millimeters knitting needles and long tail cast on method, cast on any number multiple of 2 plus 2 salvage stitches. Uh, I cast on 42 stitches. And the first and the first row need all stitches. We will start with a border and the border will be done in garter stitch. So we start knitting. All stitches. Please finish this row at the end. Curl the last salvage stitch and we will always purl it. Turn. Row number two. We will repeat row number one, slip the first stitch and knit all stitches across. Okay, so finish this row at the end. Don't forget, pearl the last stitch and then knit four more rows in garter stitch. It means knit all stitches across. So I've done six rows and let's start with the, the main pattern. So slip the first stitch and after that three stitches, it will be a border, so we always need them and at the end they will be the same. Now we start ribbing, knit one, and purl one. And again, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one, go on ribbing until you have four stitches.
need one purl one and at the end last three stitches it will be also border the edge so knit three and purl the last selway stitch turn row number two slip the first stitch now knit three the border edge and now start again ribbing you see the knit stitch you knit it you see the purl stitch you purl it so knit one purl one across the row Need one, purl one. Need one, purl one. And go on till the end. And here I will meet you at this point. At the end, need three. And purl the last salvage stitch. Turn. Row number three. We are going to need all stitches, border stitches and the central stitches. So need all stitches across. Oh, here is the beautiful pattern you may see already please go on and finish this row at the end also I need border stitches and purl the last sewing stitch turn and the last row row number four after that we will repeat row number four will be the same as row number three need all stitches across Please go on and finish this row. Now turn and start repeating from row number one. When we started ribbing, so slip the first stitch, knit three, one, two, three. After that ribbing, the central part, knit one, purl one, knit one, Purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Like this. Go on, finish this row at the end. Knit three and purl the last salvage stitch, turn and repeat row number one, then repeat row number three knitting all stitches and repeat row number four knitting as well all stitches and go on knitting until desired length so here i am and that's what i have now look how beautiful this pattern if you're looking by the way hat and the scarf you can find it on my blog where i was using this stitch so at the end we will make the same border as we did at the beginning so six rows in garter stitch knitting all stitches so go on knitting back and forth six more rows here I am, and as I promised that I will show you an Icelandic bind off. Here you can use any bind off method you know. I just want to make this tutorial useful for you. So you insert the needle as if to purl and knit through the second, you see, through the second 
stitch and you draw up a loop in between so you see and now drop both stitches of the needle and return the stitch to the left hand needle and again insert as if to purl then knit through the second stitch drop all stitches of the needle return back stitch and repeat poke through this first stitch and knit through the next one and drop return poke through the first stitch knit through the second stitch and drop as you see you will get a round edge that looks like an eye cord It's stretchy but not super stretchy, just a normal. So that's why it's perfect for towels or blankets, but also for calves. And drop. Look how beautiful it is. It's perfect for the garter stitch, of course, I didn't add it. Let's do it once more. Return. Poke through the first, then knit through the second, and drop. Please go on and finish. Here I am, look at this beautiful, beautiful edge. So now cut the yarn. And let's weave in ends. I use a tapestry needle, you can use hook or yarn needle. And look, really invisible. So cut the yarn and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel and if you need a written instruction, you can find it on my blog. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment if you have any questions. Bye!